Well, hello, this is Rochelle and welcome to my channel. Today with coffee on hand, <laughs> I'm going to show you how to make your own uh, art journal and I would call this a envelope journal or a, I don't know, junk journal. And you can do this with pretty much any envelopes, but I'm going to be doing it with these. Uh, these are approximately an A5 size envelope uh, in a brown craft kind of paper from Bantex, a specific one. And what I do is I crisscross the envelope flaps into one another. So I put the glue on the sticky side, put it into the opening or the slot of the opposite one, and then crisscross that every single time using a new um, envelope. So the flaps of the envelopes will then act as the hinges for this journal. I honestly don't know what's going on with my camera and why it is moving, but yes. Okay, so you can add then as many pages as you want, um, or as few as you want, or I'm pretty sure you can even do this with different sizes. Um, you could probably cut this off in the middle or make it smaller or make it bigger, however you want to use it. Um, and that is my take on a quick junk journal. And I don't feel particularly sorry for it in the sense that I'm, you know, hoarding using it because it costs so much money. I'm just enjoying using it. And so I'm just going to dive straight in and start this art journal page. I'm taking some Deco Art Americana acrylic paint and applying it with my finger. I'm starting with a circle in the middle and working to the opposite corners, um, just smearing the, the paint with my finger. It's challenging for me. I still need to get used to it and constantly want to kind of wash my hands and wash my fingers and don't want them dirty. I'm using uh, a few different colors and really just playing around with the background trying to get some color laid down as part of the background um, after this is done i do take a stamp that i have it's a sorry firstly texture uh, stencil from room 5 graphics and i'm applying that same uh, blue paint with my finger through the stencil didn't work quite as I wanted to and I um, actually just did it to use up the last of the paint and not not waste it uh, I think next time I will use more paint or try lifting up the paint while it's still wet with a wet wipe I am then taking this texture stamp it's like a corner type of um, border I don't know if that's probably what it is. And I'm using the VersaFine Black Onyx ink just to stick it down on the two opposite corners of this circle or this page. Um, I don't have a block big enough for this, so I am just using my fingers, which kind of is also a special challenge all on its own. This was a part of that stamp set. It was one of those magazine stamp sets, and it says love. And again, this is probably going to be covered up, and that's okay. That's what art journaling is. It's part of the process. It's part of getting the, the all of the creativity out and then you hoard it up and all the technique, techniques you wanted to try um, all in one. Next up, putting down some white acrylic paint and picking it up with a palette knife um, and just smearing it onto the page. Like I said, it's probably going to cover some stuff and that's okay. <laughs> it is just to um, get that background to look a bit more coherent, blend into one another and not look like I slapped some paper down or some paint down and, you know, it's just there. Uh, taking some old uh, book pieces. This is from a recipe book. It's got yellow pages and I'm just sticking it down with gesso. Not the best way to stick it down. <laughs> because Jess is not really a glue but um, I wasn't going to apply heat to it and it's not a big piece and it doesn't have to be perfect so <laughs> this is clear gesso I do not have white gesso that's also why, why I use the white acrylic and not um, white gesso because I didn't have any so that being done I am going to take uh, the back of a pencil an HB pencil um, so that little rounded back piece to kind of draw the circle around my 
um, piece that I stuck down with the gesso and I'm doing some art marks and uh, just scribbling away using the back side of this pencil still and uh, that's just going to be then my kind of focal point in the circle I did stick down the wording skew like I said I need to get over myself so that's kind of why I do it <laughs> uh, I'm using some gelato to put down on certain places on this page and then just using my finger to smear it into the page you can obviously use a wet wipe or any other technique um, I will because I don't like those white or the white circle around the gelato in the middle I will take a paintbrush and just activate it to take it all the way to the sides now because this has gesso over it the gelato moves pretty easily actually a little bit too easily um, and that's also okay adding some water to the leftover paint and splattering it over my page and then I want to make my little title and I've decided for today that the title is going to be make your own mark <laughs> um, so this is the cover of this little journal that I made and there you see I made a mistake the stamping didn't come out very well so I need to cover that up we'll figure it out so I'm stamping on another piece of this book paper, this recipe book paper, make your own art. And these are just sponge alphas that I bought from Crazy Store a while ago and stays on ink. So I'm just stamping it on that paper and I'm going to be tearing it out a little bit so that I can use that as the, the sentiment or the title for this page. cleaning up a little bit and then I'm going to take my fingers and just tear around the words so that I could um, have it. I didn't want it cut out and all square and neat. I wanted it as part of the a rugged side um, or ruggedness of the page. I'm going to see where I want it and how I want it. I pretty much think that I want it here in the bottom corner and uh, that blotch where I made the mistake in the circle is bugging me so I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do to fix that and I grab my Fabric Style Big Brush pen in black to then kind of draw a flower in the middle of the circle uh, wouldn't say it fixed the issue but yeah sort of worked and then obviously tried to get some texture in there uh, you know making it look like it's part of the picture and not just last minute I don't know substitution issues <laughs> I had to take my Posca pen this is a white Posca pen I think I have not activated it right or something because it's not opaque at all until I shake it <laughs> So I pushed it down a bit and shook it and uh, finally came out white. And I think that kind of sort of rescues this little flower image over here. So it's time to stick down the this title. And this time I use gel medium instead of the clear gesso. And it will probably stick better than <laughs> the clear gesso one. Um, gesso, because it's not a glue by nature, um, it kind of bubbles and lifts after a while whereas gel medium is a glue so there you go <laughs> clean that up and I wanted to outline my page so I give it a little bit of a border and I go over this border twice this camera moving thing is really getting to me. <laughs> Stamp, stamping down my date so that I could remember when I did it. Adding some white spots with the Posca pen and calling it a day. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.